Well, we're in the yard here now. We'll uh, unload this truck here, I guess. Make a little bit of a video for you here of the 4440 doing something other than disking. There we go. What do you think your wheat you got here, Antoine? That's pretty good. Did everything you hoped for? I suppose. Getting good money for it? We'll find out. The elevator making you wait very long before they'll take it? Yeah, a while, yeah. Oh, why is that? Go ask them. Oh, I see. You still gonna go to that elevator or no? I have to have a pretty good price. Oh, hey. Some strong words there from Antoine, but... <laughs> what was that? That's, that's awful, horrible interview. You better go lift your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Pretty good looking wheat. This is what we were combining there in that uh, one video there a few months back. That day it was pretty hot outside there. This is that stuff that was running really good. He's having a hard time keeping up with the trucks there to the two combines. Well, that was before we had this tandem, of course, so that would have helped out if we had it anyway, but next year we'll be set. Haven't really done a walk around of this truck here yet for you. The last time you saw it, I guess, uh, we were still putting a kit in that cylinder there. We got that fixed, and now it'll actually lift its box when it's full, but you kind of saw the inside of it there, that video when we were uh, first using it to haul canola there. But uh, it's in really good shape, this truck. Got the super powerful DT466 International motor in it. Makes about 90 horsepower, I think, and maybe 200 foot-pounds of torque at the most. But it's an international, so you can't expect too much of it, I guess. <laughs> but uh, no, it's not bad. It's definitely geared for that engine, though. It's top speed 80 kilometers an hour, like we were saying in that one video there, but pretty good truck, nice and clean anyway. the old 400 over there that we use to cut hay with. Don't have any cattle, but we still, oh, we made three or 400 bales there this summer, sold it to neighbors around here that have cattle, needed a little bit extra, so a little bit extra money, never hurt anything. This is at the other farm here, my grandpa's place, at, uh, up at Walk up here. Lots to see. There's the Quan set over there. The com two combines, the baler, the 835, the sprayer, and his little 60 Massey tractor is in there, 65 Massey. You can see the 1682 sitting beside there. The combine that we used to use before we got the 2188. We had a 4840 on it. You can see that in one of my very first videos I've uploaded on here video of it unloading but yeah anyway the next time you see that tractor it'll probably be in about a thousand pieces in the shop because they're gonna put an engine kit in it and I'm gonna paint it redo the interior on it she'll be a new woman again anyway but anyway we'll see you in the next one anyway